As you know, I'm Kainton on the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue with part two of our CQRS and event sourcing with Axon framework. Today we are going to modify the pom.xml and add the necessary depend dependencies that we need. Uh, in the part one, if you've not done part one, please go back to review part one and actually follow it. And I'll also like to remind you to subscribe if you've not subscribed. In case you, are, if, in case you don't know, CQRS means Command Query Responsibility Segregation. It's a new way to, uh, to write microservices in such a way that the commands, uh, that is the, the commands and the queries are separated. And Axon Framework is a tool or a framework uh, actually a platform, Axon Framework and the Axon server that helps you achieve that. So that is something that if you're a programmer at this point or a developer or a software engineer, you should be able to should be learning. So in part one, we set up the, the, the packages, the command, the GUI and the query. And now we are going to add the necessary plugin. So in this demo or in this uh, tutorial, we are going to be using in our project a mix of Kotlin and Java. Why I want to use Kotlin in addition to Java is Kotlin makes it easy for us to write a class, a complete class in concise manner. In one line, we can write a complete class uh, and these classes are called data classes. So the first thing we want to do to achieve that is to add the necessary plugin. So now we have the plugin code right here. Uh, I'm actually going to copy it and paste in the plugin slash plugin section of the pom.xml. So just copy it and open the pom.xml and go to the plugin section. So you can see the plugin section, you have plugin slash plugin. So I'm going to just shift this one down a bit and I'm going to paste it right here. And we have the plugin slash plugin. This is what we've added. So this makes it possible for us to use in a single project a mix of Kotlin and Java. So the next thing we want to do is to add the Axon framework dependency for us to give our project the, 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 the Axon framework functionality because to achieve CQRS and event sourcing, you need a framework and that, that Axon framework is the framework to use. So, the first thing we want to do is to add the um, to add the the Axon framework version uh, uh, for this tutorial being 2019 November. Uh, we are using Axon framework Axon uh, 4.2. That is the Axon version. So simply go to the properties slash properties section and simply add below the 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 the. It's just below the body, so we add Axon Framework, Axon version uh, for Axon version 4.2, actually Axon dot version, and it's going to be 4.2. All right, so that's the latest version as of the time of this lesson, and I also like to recommend you stick with this version I'm using so that you don't have any issues at a later time. The nice thing I want you to do is to change the version of the Vardin. All right, so um, so the Vardin version here is 14.0.13. Somehow it, this gives some issues along the line. So I'd like to recommend you change it to, to 8.4.1. So I'm gonna change it to 8.4.1. Right, so um, we also have the Kotlin version as well. So let's add the Kotlin version. So I'm going to copy it and paste instead of typing it out. Um, so as you can see, Maven project needs to be imported. So I'm simply going to say enable auto import so that when we make any changes in our pom.xml, the is going to rebuild and also import all the necessary dependencies that are needed. So at this point, I'm going to add the Kotlin version. Uh, I'm going to just add it below the Java version right here. So basically, we've set up all the um, all, uh, all the properties um, items, which is the versions we are using for the, the the for the dependencies we are using. And at this point, I'm going to now add the real Axon framework dependency. So these Axon framework dependency org uh, org that axon framework that has a group ID artifact ID is org as axon spring 
Amazon Spring Boot Starter. So again, you can find it in Maven repository. You can just go to MVN repository. I can easily search for, you know, I can just make uh, some room here. You can just search for Axon Framework. So, but it's better you use the one I'm using so that you don't have any, any issues along the line. So simply copy the one in my website right here and use it. So I'm going to copy this dependency and paste it in the dependency section. So I'm going to paste it as a first item in the dependency section. So this object has on framework as on object on Spring Boot Sata. So it's going to resolve. All right. So at the end of the day, the complete uh, pom.xml file looks like this. So in case you have challenges, you can actually uh, copy this and paste. But you also take note of the, the, the name of the application. So here I have GC Easy. So here you have the name of the application. It says the GC demo. So there's a, a kind of a little mix up. But I would like to recommend you type it out yourself. Don't copy the 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 the, the, the whole pom.xml. Don't copy. Just type it out yourself. All right. So at this point, uh, we are done with setting up all the dependencies we need. So and we actually completed part two. So I'm going to just save all. Now in part three, we are now going to set up the commands, the events, and the aggregate. So I'm going to stop here for part two. Make sure you do it yourself. If you have challenges, let me know in the comment box below and feel free to subscribe and like and share this video around because we want as many as possible to get involved in using Axon framework to build microservices as that is a, the revolutionary way, the, 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 the future of microservices is CQRS and events. I remain kind on the tech pro and we see in part three.